boy. I've been playing a lot of this game lately. It feels good to be playing a classic feeling arcade style of shooter. I still have to play Modern Warfare 3. I don't hate that by any means. I really enjoy Modern Warfare 3, but when it comes to just getting that feeling of playing this type of game again, man, it feels awesome. This is like always has been my cup of tea. You know what I mean? Always. I've never once been bad at a Treyarch COD. My channel, in fact, was built on Treyarch CODs. You guys know a lot of my fan base came from Cold War, so I'm super excited for Black Ops 6 and hoping that I see a lot of my returning viewers again because it has been, there's a lot of people who I see pe pop into videos from time to time, like comments and stuff that I haven't seen in a long time. I'm hoping to see a lot more of them. You know what I mean? That guy is beaming me. I'm not even trying to stay here, but they keep pushing me like this. So I'm going to try to squeak through, maybe regroup. I want to get up top on bridge, I think. Ooh, we got him there. Dude, what can you do? They all pushed me at the same time. We're already at 10 kills though. So vibing with that. Um, I don't see anybody out. Oh, we got a guy here. I missed. We got our artillery. I didn't hit on any of that. There was a guy that was right here I saw. That wasn't him. Where is he? I hear one. I think he's in here. No? I heard a guy. I just don't know where he was. Oh, that's where he was. His homie is just camped up in a corner. What can you do? What can you do? Nice little long shot. I bet you this guy's still hanging about. My teammate's hanging around the corner there. Nope, I don't think he is. I think he's up top. That's him. Oh, brother. You just got twerked on. I heard him last second and boy did I snap on him. All right, we're here. Good shots. I knew he was there too. That's the crazy part. You know, I, I have the harp up. I know he's there and I still just, I, I look away for a second and I get beamed for it. They just spawned behind us, which is weird. That guy's running for the hills. This guy didn't die. Is he right there? Talk about timing. Call of Duty is all about timing, and I just got the worst timing. He was there. I knew he was there. Couldn't figure it out, and I'm why my pace is starting to falter a bit. All right, Blaziken, you are hunting me like a madman, and I don't like it. So that's my arch nemesis for sure, Blaziken. That guy, he thinks he's a, he, he's nasty or something. And I'm going to make sure I prove that wrong. All right, let's hit this. Here, here, here. Blaziken again. Got him. I want to push off right now, but I know I push. This guy's going to come out of nowhere, so. Cruise missiles in. I can use that to kill Blaziken if he's still camping here. He's not. He must have ran. I'm pushing all the way in the spawn here, hopefully for a flip. He is here.
That guy was camping too. I'm out of bullets for the time being. There was a guy here. Yep. I don't have bullets. I gotta hit a dash quick. No bullets. I wanna get that ammo. Right here. Yep. Okay. Let's hit our cruise missile. Let's get pushed back here. Hit this. We're at 34 kills. That didn't hit. Where are they? Okay. He's over here. Got a harp. Okay. One, two, three. I don't know. Maybe that hits this time. Let's hit the harp. Again. No, he's there. Just lost the gunfight, dude. I'll give these guys credit. They're really shooting. Not this time, Blaziken. Ligma. This guy's going to be underground. This guy's also underground. Good job, team. This guy is on one like Jesus Christ. I'm going to get the 50 bomb on him, but my God, the guy shoots. He shoots. Yeah, you're getting your body shot. I don't even care if I die for it. You're getting your body shot, Blaziken. I hope you see this. You're, you're an enemy of the state. You're the enemy of the salts. The salt squad does not appreciate arch enemies. All right, Hugo. All right, Hugo. They're all beaming me, man. If I choke the 50, I swear to God. They're pushing me back so far in the spawn. I can't really get out. All right, you're right here. That's Hugo. Shit. I mean, I have a 5 KD. I got 50. I mean, 50 eliminations, that is, but crap, man. Playing against some shooters. Get out of here. Peace. Not peace. Man, I am. There is some deaths in this one where I'm getting absolutely crapped on, but I'm also crapping on them. Like they got the Schmeet dropped on their forehead, but they're still finding ways to absolutely crap on me. Let's finish this. Who wants it? 54. An 11. Blaze. Meat. Forehead. You know, there's really a lot of circumstances. I wish I had an open mic so I could talk some crap and, you know, stir the pot a little bit. But at the end of the day, I don't really gain anything out of that. All I can do is speak with my performance and they got the Schmeet. So let's get through these attachments here. We got a muzzle in the infantry compensator to control vertical recoil control, obviously very necessary on the FFAR. For the muzzle, I have the 20.3 inch takedown to increase that damage range. It's going to increase at 60%. And even after that 60%, you can see the damage range isn't all that great at 22.86 meters. But at the end of the day, this isn't a great long range weapon, definitely more of a medium range choice. For an underbarrel, you're going to want the field agent grip. That's going to give you vertical and horizontal recoil control to add on to that muzzle. For the 
magazine, I was going with the 38 round speed mag. I've ran, run a lot of attachments here. I've gone with the 44. I've also gone with the mag clamp. At the end of the day, it is going to be a preference. And our final attachment is the Raider Suck to increase the sprint to fire speed and aim walking speed. So here's going to be all your attachments on the screen if you guys needed to pause the video and copy those ones down. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me if you have not already. I'll see you guys in the next one.